What's up, guys? Today, this is a no preset challenge, which means I can't use any um, pre-made presets I made myself. I can't use anybody else's presets. I have to make everything from scratch. At the end of the video, this is what we'll be making. Okay, let's get open serum and let's make a chord progression type of thing. Let's make these super. I'm gonna do something really simple just like that, that kind of chord progression. Okay, let's do something like this. Kind of cool. I think this might be fast. Yep, that's too fast. Okay, let's do this. And then, yeah, okay. God dang it. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's make these same velocity. And then let's go ahead and just side chain this. So let's bring it in here. Create side chain. Uh, let's do something simple, just a four base thing. And then maybe do something like this. Send this to five and then route this to four. This is going to be our saw bus. Go ahead and separate that. This is going to be saw number one. Let's go ahead and route this to the side chain. This saw sounds really boring, so we're going to fix that. Uh, let's go to methods. Something like this, I guess. I'm not going to add anything in there because everything's going to be post. So go ahead and turn this down. Go ahead and add. Try and do some Maximus type stuff here. Go ahead and add AOTT. Soundizer. Let's do C. And then uh, let's just add a, uh, where you at? Blood overdrive, turn the color off. Then an EQ. Okay, let's go ahead and add another saw. We're gonna do a very distorted saw, just add some saturation on top of the detune saw. Do something like this, add a log. Turn the amount down a little bit and then just like this thickness at like 36 or 35. Then we're going to route this. 
So now we have this. Something like that. Uh, I'm going to pitch this up too. Do the same thing. Start making the uh, mid base layer here. Turn it down a little bit. Go ahead and copy and paste the root notes here. Something like that, maybe. Oops. Let's add a pitch envelope to make a pitch attack. Okay, let's go ahead and add some stuff. Let's do uh, OTT. Let's add sound We're gonna add two, we're gonna add sound A and then sound C. And then uh, maybe some blood overdrive. And then let's just finish off with an EQ. I'm gonna take that low end out so it's just the mid areas. Okay, sweet. Um, let's start working on the lead. Go and send this to number two. Uh, make sure it's side chained. Make sure these are both on super because we're going to be using both oscillators. Um, let's do some like noise, maybe. That'd be pretty cool. Add a sub under it. Uh, let's do some distortion. Let's try uh, DO1. Yeah. Add a compressor. Some reverb. Let's do some low cut and high cut. some delay okay cool uh i wanted to use an eq because that sounds like garbage with all the low end on there ott and then some side um compression with sound guitar. Let's rename this lead. Same thing with this lead. And I'm thinking of an idea in my head, uh, like some, like a really long slide, like uh... this is really loud. I'm turning down. 
So something like Let's add more delay. And then let's add some reverb. I'm thinking what we could use for some reverb. Uh should have a hollow maybe. Sounds really weird. Okay, uh, I'm gonna switch this to a sauce. I'm in a square wave. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna go back to a saw wave. Okay, so let's start adding some adds in here to uh, layer on top of the chord stack here. Uh, uh, pads, okay. That could work. I'm just gonna put there for right now. Oh. I could be like something in the background or something. Let me just trim this up. Okay. Yes. And yes. Okay. Go ahead and uh, make sure that way when you play it, it'll automatically stop. Trim this. Do the same thing with this one. Just uh, make the start a little bit earlier. Okay, let's send this to oh, uh, eight. Let's make this sort of base, and then let's go ahead and separate this. And then we're going to send this to the saw bus. Same thing. Uh, let's make this one last uh, with this one. So let's go to nine. Send this to the saw bus, and I guess we'll do this one too. Like this. Send this to ten. Like that. So these actually may be pretty loud, so we're gonna have to mix these in a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do, uh, I'm gonna do this one first. Number nine. There we go. Uh, let's just add some like OTT or something on top of it. Okay, I want this to come up be a little bit louder. Okay, let's do the same thing with this one. Just mute that one.
we're gonna switch this uh phone out i mean this Valhalla with uh Valhalla shimmer okay, that sounds a little better and then for this one I don't know if that's gonna deal with it or not. That sounds pretty cool, actually, because it sounds like it's rising. So this could actually, this could actually work. Just turn it down a little bit. Name these pad and then do pad number two and then pad number three. And then we're gonna get some white noise up in here. Let's do three X OSC. Let's do this. Let's turn down a little bit. Send you to the side chain. And then let's add a destructor. Turn these off. And let's do log. And then just cue it out. You yeah. like that. Okay, sweet, and then we're gonna add a sub bass and then the drums, and then we basically have a drop made without any without using any presets. So let's get a three osc three x osc again. Let's turn all these oscillators off. Get the course pitch to twelve. I like to add my uh sub basses with a little bit of a pitch attack there. Let's do it like this. Okay, let's do that. Send you, oh wait, no, actually, actually, let's actually do this. Turn it down just a little bit. We're gonna beat this up. Um, What am I looking for, Soundgradizer? Some blood overdrive. And then let's just add a EQ. Like that. Name the sub bass, and then just copy and paste this and that. I feel like this pad doesn't sound like it's in the right key, maybe. That could work. Okay, since we had the course act done, we're going to do the kick. We're going to make this the um, percussion bus, which is where all of our crashes and stuff will go. 
Um, and then this will be uh, Kick Crash. Snare Crash. Our China. And then our Snare. Okay. So these are going to be sent to percussion. Same thing with this and that. Okay, cool. Let's get some drums up in here. Symbols. That'll be our China right there. Let's turn it down a little bit. I want to add a compressor and uh bus and then get up some crashes up in there okay this will be the kick crash Turn this down, send this to 12, send that up in there, and then do this. I don't know why I said 12. And send this to 23. Snare, crash. Like that. Let's cut these a little bit so they fade out a little bit more. And then we're going to add our compressor. And we want this to be side chained, but we don't we're not gonna send it to the regular side chain because the regular side chain is a little bit too strong. So we're gonna do this. Just to make it a little bit more uh, quicker. And then just e uh, EQ this out. And then let's go ahead and grab uh, some kicks, or a kick and a snare. Okay, well, let's try this one. Do the same thing. Send this to 20. Grab a snare. Want that one. Let's do that. Send this to 25. And let's just do this. And then let's just add a compressor to it. Why is that turned off? I don't know. Okay. See what it sounds like. Don't let that kick. Let's change that kick. Sounds a little too weak. Yeah. Let's actually maybe add like a little tiny lead on top maybe something like uh... 
Something like this maybe could work. I feel like it have to be faster. Maybe, I don't know. Nope, okay. So this is what we have. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.